Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is uh, the most common infancy tumor and it is always benign condition. This is called capillary hemangioma. This is the most common vascular malformation. It is never present at birth, but after two or three weeks, it starts as a small dot. It increases in size for the first six to eight months of life. Then it becomes static and never increase in size. After the age of one year, it starts regression. The color fades from bright red to skin color and the swelling subside as well. If it interferes with the vital organs, like if it penetrate the orbit, the nasal cavity, or it is near the lips and there is danger of biting, so intervention may be required. There is no such treatment for this condition except if it is dry you can apply emollients like Vaseline, liquid paraffin or any soothing agent, any oil. If the size is very large you can give Enral Propranolol. If it interferes with the vital organs then there are so many options available like sclerotherapy, laser and injection of sclerosing agent like steroids but not always. So if you come across a lesion like this in a pediatric patients the main thing is counseling and to tell the parents the benign nature of the condition. Most of the parents are worried about and they are thinking that this is cancerous condition or it may become cancerous. As the name, the name shows that this is a benign tumor, actually this is not tumor. One should not use the term tumor, you just tell them that this is a benign vascular malformations. So, no treatment is required, no intervention is required unless it interferes with the vital organs. This is capillary hemangioma. There are so many varieties like the same occurs in liver, in brain, in other internal organs that can be detected by ultrasound and another common variety is strawberry hemangioma which usually occurs over the face near the eyeball or the cheeks or they can occur in scalp if it occurs in scalp then combing should be done very cautiously because it may bleed and the bleed stop with difficulty. So dry compression may be applied and the bleeding stop as well. So this is a benign condition. One should not worry about that. Assalamu alaikum.